Hey everyone, it's Miss Chubb. Um, I was wondering, what makes your family different from other families? We are going to think about that for just a second and then we will be going to the carpet to get ready to listen to a read aloud. So, I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. For example, my family is me, my husband, and my three kids, and my cat. I have a boy, no, I have two boys and a girl. So, now let's all go gather up the carpet. And here we go, we're gonna listen to this recording of this book, What Makes a Family. Written by Hannah Bruner, illustrated by Sandy Salk. Each family is different. Each family is unique. So go ahead and turn the page. Come on, let's take a peek. When you think of the word family, you might think of your mom or your dad. You grew inside your mom's tummy and loved baseball just like your dad. Or maybe you think of your foster parents who take good care of you. They keep you safe and feed you too and hug you when you're blue. Perhaps you think of your adoption day when you felt your forever home. Your new parents kiss you and squeeze you and love you. You know now you're never alone. Maybe you think of your stepmom who stepped up. She fell in love with your dad and fell in love with you too. She makes the best lunches and snuggles you so tight. She shows you you're loved all day and all night. It could be that you think of your stepdad. He's great. He helps you with your homework and makes sure you're never late. He holds you when you're feeling sad. You can call him your bonus dad. Perhaps you think of your grandparents who raised you. They show you right from wrong and they care through and through. You might think of your brother, your uncle, your cousin, maybe it's your aunt <laughs> or your pet bee named Buzzin. It could be that you think of your sister or godparent. Maybe it's your friend or your twin <laughs> or your parrot. Perhaps you think of your two moms or two dads or maybe your step siblings who make you feel glad. Families isn't just sharing DNA or last names. It's not made from getting married or signing a page. Nope, not at all. So then what makes a family? What's, what's one made of? What makes a family is choosing to love. The end. Now that we've listened to the story, we will be going back to our desk to write about our families and to draw them on construction paper and using markers. So, as we go back to our seats, I will ask you a couple questions. So, how many kids do you, your parents have? How many you know, brothers or sisters do you have? Or do you have a pet? Or do you have a fish? 